Hello everyone, and well, if you look at the price of Bitcoin, it is actually looking a little bit better, right? In the previous video, I told you that there is going to probably be a small bounce right now. And a lot of people are starting to celebrate this. And quite frankly, is there a good reason to celebrate? And probably not. So I want to make this video to warn you guys. It's a big warning for those who are just not following what is happening in the world. And I really want you to understand a couple of things right now. They just came about, and also we're going to talk about this Harris and Trump debate in the United States, which was just ridiculous. But anyway, we're going to discuss that as well, because it does have a huge effect on the market right now as well. And we're going to also discuss as to what is going to come next. And I'm going to give you a precise date on when the move is going to finally start and when we're going to have that possibly one last shakeout. So let's just dive straight into this and we can see that, yeah, the price is looking okay-ish. We're hitting 58,000 right now. We are battling this 58.2. So yeah, I mean, we kind of broke it here with a tiny bit of volume. But anyway, if we zoom out, it is not going to look as pretty as it does when you're zooming in. But I'm going to get back to the chart in just a second. I'm going to give you a warning that actually has been created by AI because in Crawlo Capital in my hedge fund, we're using slightly different strategies from what you know retail mostly does because we're not doing leverage or anything like that. And we are doing a lot of quantitative analysis, a lot of in-depth analysis, liquidity analysis, and also AI. Sometimes we consult AI that actually do different neural networks that actually do make good predictions here and there. Not always, but quite often. So I'm going to discuss that in just a second. But first, let's talk about news. And the first good news, because there is actually a lot of good news, the reason why Bitcoin has pumped a little bit, is that August CPI actually fell to 2.5. This is quite, I mean, it's not just great, it is fantastic, because the previous readings, look at how fast it is dropping now. It's great. 3.5, 3.4, 3.9, 2.5. So we are flying down rapidly. And as you might remember, Jerome Powell has said that they're not going to be waiting for 2%. So this CPI reading, which just came out which basically yesterday, it just cemented very strong and aggressive rate cuts. That's it. So and maybe possibly we don't, we're not going to even see a recession, which is, you know, it has been a big, big fear and a big cloud actually hanging above our heads. But possibly... It looks fine. So, and it's like, remember, the target of inflation was 2% and we we're at 2.5. Hmm? So the other CPI is 3.2, but it still is close in the range anyway. So it is fantastic in my personal humble opinion. You guys remember also quick shield that I personally trade over on Bybit and my Ethereum trade. It's all there. It's still there. It's nothing has changed. And I'm just, today I'm going to show you where I'm going to scale it. And if you want to use my link down description of this video to buy a bit, you can claim up to $30,000 initial deposit bonuses. And if you trade with more than $100,000, you can actually claim a 42% discount on trading fees, which deposit bonuses, whatever, it's up to you if you want them. But uh, the actual discount on trading fees can last for many years to come and you can save thousands of dollars on trading fees. So therefore, if you already have a Bybit account, you can create a new one using uh, my link down description in this video, just with a different form of identification, such as, for example, a driver's license. Now, that uh, shill is out of the way. Let's just move on to the juice of this video. So, yeah, the CPI is looking all great, for sure. Now, we need to also discuss the obvious, and that is this right here, which is also part of the good news. And then we're going to get to slightly bad news and then to the AI analysis, so stay tuned. That's why I always watch my videos from the beginning and until the end, and if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also make some noise down in the comments for the algorithm so that we grow together as a community. If you don't want to do it though, up to you. Take this for free, just don't contribute, it's up to you. So anyway, the exchange reserves in terms of uh, stable coins, look, stable coins are actually currently curving up. This is very good because usually when we see this, this is uh, when stablecoin flow to exchanges increases, it often signals that buying pressure is coming. And it is actually quite very true because this has been true for many times before, especially if you time it correctly within a cycle. So this is also good news. But this here, not so good news. So we had this very big debate between Harris and Trump. And quite frankly, I'm not going to be saying like, what is my opinion here? It doesn't matter. But in my opinion, the host was very biased towards Democrats and didn't really help Trump. But overall, he did perform okay-ish. And certainly it was expected that he's not going to perform as well uh, against Kamala uh, as he would against Biden, who has just lost his mind by it at this point. So therefore, this whole entire debate led to Kamala, Kamala, Camila, actually break the lead and go into lead with just 1%. We've seen this before. 
but uh, it depends on where we really the, the numbers you're going to be looking at and the provider of the numbers and sometimes those polls are very different for whatever reason some of them are biased i suppose i have no idea but anyway right now they're tied so this is not a very good thing because we really don't want her to be the, the president of the united states it's just retarded but anyway uh, and especially again politics aside here. What matters here the most, I suppose, is what would happen with the crypto industry. And this is what we really care about the most. So and we really need this guy to win. So that's why and previously before the debate, he had an 8% lead, even on poly markets. And now the lead was closed just because of the debate. I don't know, weird, but it's not a good thing. But we'll have to give it some time and see if this is going to actually readjust. Now, getting to the topic of the price, short term looks good. But if we actually zoom out, we put in a bigger time frame, we're going to see that we are still in the same vicinity of the same wedge, still part of the same game. And right now, yeah, we kind of broke out on these news. We retested this low of 52,000. Right now, what is coming in is this area. So you will see this area from 13th of September all the way to 15th um, of October. So this is some this is the danger zone in my opinion and the biggest danger zone is 13th of September uh, all the way to according to AI all the way to the 20th of September. So this is the biggest area of concern for AI. So this is something that we've been looking into for quite substantially, quite frankly. And sometimes those predictions come in really strong and really precise. So what it is telling us right now that we could have one last shakeout, because remember the date, which is the, about what 15th of October, this is when we can give or take expect the beginning of the up move that will go into the parabolic phase of the market. Just historically, same thing, always October 2020 was the same thing. So elections, blah, 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 and liquidity, blah, blah, blah. So but before then, there is a high probability that for whatever reason, we're going to actually play this game, the game that I showed you before. So could it just keep going up in a straight line? Again, guys, anything can change in the market at an instant, and certainly it can. But the probabilities currently are that we're gonna, we are still not out of the woods and we're going to play around. And even according to AI, this is the case. And especially the biggest danger zone, once again, is from tomorrow, 13th of September, all the way to the 20th of September, give or take. So one more week of danger, then consolidation, just like I've drawn it, and then the beginning of the up move. So this area, in my opinion, is one last place of warning for you guys, or an opportunity, because for me, yeah, I'm not closing my trades. I'm just going to be scaling them. And this is where, as I said, I'm going to tell you where I'm going to scale my $2.4 million trade, $2.1 million trade on Ethereum right now. I want to add to it right here. This would be just for like 2100 2000 so if would i'm really hoping that in this vicinity in the next one week would finally have one less capitulation event maybe go a tiny bit below and then actual recovery and then the actual push this is what i'm really hoping for so that i can scale the trade at least to three 3.54 million and then the average entry price would come down to probably like 2400 and with a target of 10,000 per eth Damn, that's going to be a nice return. So this is what AI is telling us right now. And this is what I'm also personally expecting, quite frankly, because even if we go back and we'll look at the history, usually there is some kind of consolidation. And this is what I told you about in the previous video before they actually move up. So the question then just becomes, will there be a shakeout and how deep will it be or will it just dance around and do nothing and then finally break out like we've seen so many times before. So exercise proper risk and money management. Remember about Bybit bonuses down description of this video. And also check out this quick tutorial as to how to trade crypto in general and Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies with proper risk and money management so you don't blow your account. See you next video.